after 45 minutes or whatever time you prepared your class to start and end, it will end automatically. However, if you need to end it sooner than the 45 minutes, you can choose end session and then choose end session again, and this will close out your GoGuardian and you'll no longer be monitoring your students. You can go to your classes or go to your timelines here, but you can also go over here to the left to student reports. And um, as your students are being monitored, you'll be able to come in here and choose to view reports. As you saw, I did a drop down for individuals and timeline or date range. So even if you find out something happened a couple days ago, as long as you are running GoGuardian, it will be monitored. So I'm gonna view a report and give you a quick overview of what it looks like. So here it shows the websites that my student went to. They didn't do any searches or any documents, so that's why those are blank. But if it did, it would look similar to this and show you exactly where they went. It shows the interventions that were made, if I had to lock their screen or if I had to open a tab for them. It shows any screenshots I took of that student's work. And then it shows the extensive detail history of their what they browsed and where they went. So maybe if you missed something, this will be documented here. And that's just a nice resource to have so that in case you do need it, it's always available to you. And it will continue to track your students every time. But to be clear, you've got to go into your classroom and go into settings and do the edit class scheduling. You have to at least schedule so that it'll start and stop automatically. The other, that's one way. The other way that will make you successful with recording their information is start class and it will automatically start monitoring your students. Those are, you must start a class though, or you must have a class running in order for GoGuardian to monitor your work or your students' work.